Welcome back to People to People. I'm Micah Mater. We are continuing our conversation with Pastor Ray Berryhill. He is the pastor of Evangel World Outreach Center. We're going to be joined now by Margarita Santiago, who truly knows what Pastor Berryhill's 40 Days of Blessings is all about. Margarita, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Now, 2006, you are a member of Evangel. Yes. In 2006, you heard about 40 Days of Blessings. Tell me a little bit more. Well, that day I had invited a friend that Sunday service to come and attend, and I told her there were giveaways. And when she found out it was the Disney giveaway, she said, I'll be there. So to Disney World, yes. of course. Anybody here's giveaways, they run. Okay. And when she came, she said, if you pray with me and I win, I will take you and your boys. Oh. So I said, okay, let's pray. So uh -huh. we prayed, and she won. So she took my boys and I on the trip. And it was, everything was paid for. We went for six days. That's, um, that's amazing. And then did that truly make you believe that random acts of kindness can really be a blessing? It sure did. And he also taught me how to bless others and how just to really rely on God. And, not that, and it was really difficult because my boys wanted to go to Disney World just a couple months prior to that. We were praying, you know, I was praying with another teacher. And we were praying that we would be able to go and afford to go to Disney. So... That came along and prayer was answered and my boys were like, Mom, you're the best mom in the world. <laughs> they thought it came from me, but I really told them it came from God and it was a big blessing. How has it changed your life as far as spiritually? Well, it changed my life where now I look at others and not only I don't think of myself, it teaches me how to bless others and really to be open-minded of other people's needs. Have you given back? Do you, give, do you participate every year in the 40 uh, days? Oh, yes, I participate. I, I just want to be involved in everything that goes on in the church. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's changed my life totally. So give I me like an to idea of, of some blessings that you've given to others or some random acts of kindness that you've done to others. Well, I have fed people off the street. I've seen people standing, and I'll ask them, do you want something to eat? They'll be asking for money. Mm -hmm. I help shelters. I buy brand-new clothes, and I send them to shelters every year. Mm -hmm. So I'll buy, like, a few bags and... I'd rather have them have new clothes than used clothes. Right. Pastor, is this exactly what this is all about? It really is. You know, um, I said to the church Sunday, think about mm -hmm. it. Christians being kind, what a concept. Right. You know, for 40 days, being salt, being light, helping somebody else. Mm -hmm. And I just believe that if this becomes a movement, which is why I've invited so many other churches, mm -hmm. and there are about 18 here mm -hmm. who have signed on, I believe that as a movement, it could probably deter crime. I believe that it could certainly impact not only Chicago, but surrounding areas. Um, and so that's why we do it, to make a difference. Have you reached out, you say you've reached to politicians, but how do we make it even broader? What are some of your future goals for this? Well, I would really like to see um, 40 Days of Blessing shut down the city. Mm -hmm. And I, I would like to hear Mayor Emanuel say for the next 40 days we're right. just going to be nice right we're going to do some good things we're, this is going to be christmas in the summertime right why not and and why this why in the summer why at this particular time because that's the most volatile time you know we we hear of all these murders especially here in chicago yeah. so much gang violence mm -hmm. and what have you and i i firmly believe a lot of this is going on because people young people don't have anything to do they don't have any goals they they just don't 